Germany's Kai Bude is simply the most dominant player to ever play on the Pro Tour. He was a dominant player on the European Grand Prix circuit with three wins and a finals finish during the 98-99 season before stepping up to replicate that success on the Pro Tour level. Kai is the lifetime leader in almost every Pro Tour category, including lifetime wins, pro points, money, and player of the year titles. The numbers are simply staggering, and none more so than his seven Pro Tour victories and nine top eight appearances. There is no one even close to Kai when it comes to Pro Tour wins, and he won the player of the year title four times. That's more times than any other player has ever won a PT. As a member of the Phoenix Foundation, Kai and his teammates won two Pro Tours and a Masters Series, and are considered the most formidable three-player team in the game's history. Kai also chalked up seven Grand Prix wins, captained the winning German national team in 2002, and won the 2001 Magic Invitational, which was commemorated with the Void Mage Prodigy. All of this combined to earn Kai the fitting nickname, the German Juggernaut. Kai Buddha, I mean, there's so much to say, there's so much that everybody already knows about him, but one of the things I can say, because like Z, I got a lot of chances to actually be on teams with him and do a lot of practicing with him before Pro Tours, um, I can't stress enough how hard a worker he is. There are a lot of people out there, like people often mention how John Finkel was really a natural talent, and Kai's obviously got plenty of talent, but Kai works his ass off. It's incredible how much preparation he would put into any event that we ever worked on together. You know, what can you say about a guy that wins that many shows? I mean, I've seen, I was at shows where he won, where just, you know, people are like, fuck, he can't win another one. And then he just did it. <laughs> and uh, uh, definitely cannot lie about the numbers. I think that uh, it's finally great to see a German player make it into the Hall of Fame, and I think nobody's more deserving than Kai Buda. When you go back to the days, there was, I don't even know how many Pro Tours this guy won. I mean, it must, he won three Pro Tours in 365 days, I remember that. And like when he won the third Pro Tour, I don't think everybody, uh, anybody would have believed that that could even be possible. But back in the days, Kai just sat on his butt and played Magic 24-7 and put all, so much work in there that he was just on the Pro Tour, he was unstoppable. Whenever I saw Kai play, he'd like I almost never make a mistake. Like there was this one story when Kai, Mana burned for one because he played far with Knights Cave Emery in play, and that's pretty much the only mistake anybody ever remembers Kai making. I got to play Kai in Pro Tour Rome uh, before he had his magic powers. He had won a couple Grand Prix, I guess, but uh, I, I did manage to beat him there. It was maybe one of the highlights of my career. But I beat Kai there, and I beat him again at, uh, at Worlds in the team competition in 2000. And then he went on some kind of monster tear, so I would get to hold it over his head that I went on 2 0 against him. Uh, when we started the Pro Tour, we didn't know how much skill there would be. One of our fears was that the Pro Tour would show that Magic didn't ha have as much skill as we thought it did. Uh, anyway, so Kai starts doing all this stuff and winning everything, and then Richard Garfield one day looks and goes, I didn't know the game was that skillful. You know, I just remember him as just this doing things that no one thought were possible. I mean, in the early years of the Pro Tour, it was this real competition to see who was going to win, who was going to be the first guy to win two. You know, I hoped it would be me, you know, John hoped it would be him, I'm sure. Okay, it turned out to be Hobie. But it was year four of the Pro Tour before somebody had, had two wins. And, you know, that was thought to be this rare, special thing. And then Kai comes out of nowhere and wins seven? I was just, it was just insane. And no one could sort of believe that it was going on. I played with him uh, only once in Magic Invitational. Uh, so, uh, of course, I lost <laughs> against him, <laughs> but uh, he's a monster, uh, everyone knows, <laughs> and uh, mm, many Japanese people uh, want to be like, like him and uh, to be strong. The thing I remember the most about Kai, or the, sort of the, the part of the Kai story that every Magic Pro Tour aficionado knows, is actually the very, very, very beginning of his career. It's the summer of 1999. Uh, the Pro Tour is still pretty young then. We still don't really know what's going on, although it has duly appointed royalty already. And there's these Grand Prix tournaments. They're pretty new. You know, there have only been like 10 Grand Prix tournaments up until this point or something like that. And there's this guy in Europe who has won three Grand Prix tournaments over the course of the summer. And people were generally writing him off. I mean, as a general rule, people who are following the Pro Tour at the time are like, yeah, there's this guy who's won three Grand Prix, but they're just Grand Prix tournaments, and it's just in Europe. I mean, come on, really, it's just in Europe. Well, long story short, of course, guy shows up at Worlds in Yokohama, and uh, everybody is skeptical. Everybody is like, oh, right, this is the Grand Prix guy. Well, let's see how he gets done. Well, you know, 
some 10 odd years later, I think it's fair to say the rest is history. And it'll teach you the value of skepticism. Kai is absolutely amazing. I mean, you look at the number of wins he has compared to the number of top eights that everybody else uh, has, and it's, it's just insane. Also, it's really nice to have him in the hall because it, uh, it feels like it completes the hall to me. When uh, everyone say magic is so random, I'm so unlucky, etc. You can always answer, but Kai wins every pro tour. Kai wins two pro tours a year. How can you say it's so random? Even in lots of sports or in poker, you just don't see that. He just was obviously very much analytical and into the game and uh, seeking to make flawless decisions. Um, I mean, he's, he's been the best player in the game. For, for ages, he, he has the best results. He was just top eighting in every single pro tour and not losing when he was in top eight. And uh, it'll be good to, to see him back in the game. If there was one player who the world was, you know, like, oh my goodness, the world is going to end. We need to play a match of magic, right? This is like Kai is the person I would send forward as the Earth's champion. I, he, he is the best, he prepares. He comes through and he wins. I mean, his top eight record's incredible. I mean, he, he was incredible. When I started playing, uh, like in, was it like 1999? I think, uh, like, we, we were often saying, like, wow, I wish as good as Kai Bude. And, like, he was, like, something to, to uh, like, to look up to, basically. Kai's a man. I mean, Kai, the combination of results, talent, dedication, hard work, ability, just unrivaled. I, I miss him in the tournaments, see? Uh, uh, I want to uh, see he, uh, he's, he becomes a champion uh, again. Uh.